Hey there, Cancerians, welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share widely because it allows me to grow the channel. Now, what we will do here, we will divide the video slightly into areas, which makes it, makes it a bit better, makes it a bit easier to understand it. And these areas are <clears throat> the overall energy. So we're looking into the overall energy for the months of May for the sign of Cancer before we go into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, what needs to go, that kind of stuff. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. And opportunities, for the most part, are about what sustains you financially. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Here we go. You ready? Let's have a look at your um, overall energy for the months of May 2022. And Cancerians, it looks good. You have the frog and the horse. The frog is saying to you, have a bit of trust, right? Uh, trust yourself. And you can see <laughs> the way they make me sound. It's like, oh, which means, you know, Ah, sounds wrong. Maybe not. I don't know. It 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 really feels like you know, crawl pair, right? Don't don't stay where you're not where you're not welcome. Um, don't jerk around. Don't think there has to always be someone there to support. Trust you. You will be fine if you actually pay attention to what it is you're really missing out on and what it is you really want. Because you have the frog, the frog, frog, the frog, frog. The frog is an amphibian. He can live on land and on water. So what they're saying is to you, right? That's who you are. You want to manifest new things you can when you realize that you can diversify when it comes to your life, right? Because you have the horse as the outgoing energy, because you have the frog and the horse for your overall energy. The horse is saying what, what works best for you with regards to planning out your life and enjoying your life is to have a bit of freedom, if that makes sense, you know, that doesn't mean you run away for good. But having freedom, feeling I'm not... Mm, I'm not responsible for anybody else, if that makes sense. Even if you feel that might not be the case, um, doesn't necessarily have to be a burden, right? So you look after the ones you look after. But if you tell them that there is, um, you know, limits to what you allow to do for them, maybe they didn't get away with all sorts of shit, right? Maybe it's time you told them there's limits to what's flying here, right? So that's how I'm getting this. I'm getting this a bit with urgency here for Cancerians. Um, because the way this feels here in the month of May is that you're sort of bumping about. It's like, yeah, well, let's see where this is going. Let's see where this is going. So there is, there, there seems to be um, a bit of a a loss in direction. And all the guides are saying the very first way to get a direction back is by understanding that you don't have to follow all patterns. Okie dokie, that was your overall energy for the month of May 2022 for the sign of Cancer. Now we're looking at your emotional core, see what needs to heal this month. So maybe this is about love. Who knows? You have the red wolf and the osprey. Okay, what I'm getting for you, Cancerians, and remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, and that is perfectly fine, right? But when it comes to love, when it comes to what needs to heal, what I'm getting from the guides, because you have the red wolf and the osprey, is in order for you to make progress in making a relationship work so you can see where they're going they're going into relationships even those that haven't happened yet right so this is not about healing as such yet because you have the red wolf and i'll explain this in a second <clears throat> this is about understanding that you how conscious you are in what you manifest and how you you yourself actually um sounds weird behave in in a relationship you know, also has to do with how the relationship progresses from here. You have the red wolf. So the wolf is supposed to be sort of in charge, right? So you should be, uh, um, you should be aiming for a relationship or should be in a relationship where you feel 
we have a real pack here. This is working. But the red wolf is also known as the Ethiopian wolf, which means he's an animal that lives in the desert. When you live in the desert, there's less opportunities. So if you feel I'm in this relationship and somehow I'm just, sounds weird again, I'm just following or I'm, I'm not really, sounds wrong, Maybe not, it's just the way the guys give it to me. I can't help it, I just work here. <laughs> Maybe I haven't fallen as deeply as I had hoped. Right? There's something a bit off here, energetically speaking, with every, everything and anything to do with your relationship. Whether or not this is, a, is one that you're looking for or the one you're in, if that makes sense. All they're saying is reflect on what's happening here and see if it can be changed because you have the osprey as the outgoing energy for your relationships. And the osprey is saying, I'm a bird of prey. I don't take shit. Right? But the osprey is also the animal that says, what is important in any relationship, the moment you allow someone to... Um, sounds Yeah, that sounds wrong. It's just the way they talk. They talk weirdly to me today. <laughs> Anyone that you're intimate with, if that makes sense, right, has to earn that space first, if that makes sense, right? Um, and all the, the Osprey is saying, you know, with regards to manifesting your law of life or your law of interests, you, you understand what you want but in order to make progress you have to follow through on understanding this is what i don't need right this is what i want this is how i feel about this be a bit more aware of the energies you actually can live with if that makes sense so i have to say this the way this the way this feels to me cancerians while the the messages aren't negative at all they all so far felt low in energy. So May 2022 may not be the um, energetically speaking highest or most positive months for you, right? Okay, and now we're looking at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of May. Yeah, and it is reflected here too. You have the mule deer and the black bear. Black bear. Black bear. Black bear. <laughs> Let me just show this thing to you because fucking I can't talk. <laughs> Here we go. And you have the mole deer. This is about opportunities as they come to you this month, as they present themselves to you in all things, even though the opportunities I am asking them to reflect on uh, or focus on are the ones that sustain you financially. So, Cancerians, you have the mole deer. And what that means is if you are chasing things this month, could be better hours, could be a different um, a different department, doesn't mean you have to change job and then go somewhere else. Um, the, the, sounds wrong. Everything sounds wrong today. The chase is better than the catch is a phrase that comes to mind. And all they're saying is you might get quite excited about, oh yeah, that would be awesome because then I could do this. Um, but what the guides are saying to you because you have the deer, is just relax about stuff, right? It'll come automatically. So it makes much more sense to you if someone says, would you fancy doing that? Rather than you having to inquire, is there an opening? That's sort of what I'm getting. Because you have the black bear, all bears are about healing, especially um, your feminine side. So there is all that trauma. And what the guides are basically showing, showing me and therefore you here is to understand unless... You let go of things from the past, it will creep in, even when the last thing on your mind at work, for instance, are personal things, right? So Cancerians, this is really a month where you are being asked to pay attention to what's going on inside you, how much, how much pain is there, right? And maybe just look at it. Um, you know, obviously you, you found this video, therefore I assume, presume and think that you are a very spiritual person. And what comes to mind here is for you to realize, you know, as a spiritual person, I might have a few tools other people have not. And that means if you know about chakras, you can do a chakra alignment. If you know about color therapy, you can try dress a certain way. You know, there's tons of things that you can do um, just by having access and knowledge about spiritual modalities that can possibly help you speed up the release of old trauma. Okay, so the other thing that I'm getting from this is that you're not necessarily as on your own 
as you think, right? Cancerians, that was all I got this month. Remember, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you. And sometimes my German accent makes, makes it sound much harsher than it is actually meant. But because the entire video here was all about lowish energy, please understand that you may feel a little bit hurt. You may still recover from things. You may have to go and, and trigger some healing. And only when this has been started or continued or being done, will you really get into your proper strengths. Okie dokie, guys, that's all we have time for. See you hopefully next month. Bye-bye.